I don't care. I really don't care. I'm too old for caring what people think. So. cutie cowboy hat at my mom's and I really like it. I have a camera team coming in to my apartment. My flat is pretty small and there's just a lot of stuff. It's so it's so clean now. You know there's a new plant pots and there's a new picture by Wall of Art. We have some new art here. We have this beautiful painting that the little sister of my boyfriend drew for me for Christmas and I think she's very talented. I love it. I think you might have seen this on my Instagram. This is a photo I took in Tokyo. Clean up this whole shelf. It's pretty. up some takeout but this one is like my favorite Asian restaurant every time I'm here in Kreuzberg I eat there like almost every time because it's so good I'm gonna put the name here because I'm not sure how to pronounce it this one's mine and this is the other one and I'm so excited to eat this right now so I got home five hours in the office I already did some prints because everything's just better when you can touch it, you know? So, took these and did some prints of Kyle. Such a beautiful girl. Look at her. This girl is just, yeah. Um, I recently started collecting a bunch of old newspaper scraps and just so I can like do little cutouts and then scan those and like make collage with it. So that's what I've been doing. So yeah, my summer so far has been pretty busy as you might have also seen in the last vlog. I've been traveling quite a bit and it wasn't just all vacation, obviously. I also worked for Mango this summer. I am actually hosting a little YouTube show for them called Mango Travel Diaries and we went to three different destinations together and it was really cool and exciting um, and a lot of work too because we were a pretty big team our first destination was Athens in Greece and I've never been there before and I sadly couldn't film so much because yeah we were a huge team we were going like to many different locations but I have a little bit I really want to go back we went to this amazing um, tiny little backyard restaurant it had super retro vibes with like old checker tablecloth and these wooden chairs and 
the family that owned it was amazing and great food uh, I was so happy <laughs> and uh, we also checked out a store called retrosexual they were selling vintage furniture and cameras and it it felt almost like home because they had a lot of mid-century and space age pieces which I truly love we also went to the beach and took some underwater shots that are insane and went to see the Acropolis from like across the hill where are we now? Um, we're at Mix Hill and over there is the Acropolis <laughs> it is, no? <laughs> Yeah, it was beautiful. The first episode is already out, so I'm gonna put like an info card here so you can watch it if you like. And the second episode is also out, and our second destination was Marrakesh, and a place I've also never been. And Marrakesh was insane. So many impressions. I feel like I'm still digesting what happened there. Um, and I'm very happy that I have some really nice footage uh, on 16mm from the Mango team that the director shot. So let me give you a little glimpse of Marrakech. Beautiful people. I am in Marrakesh right now. It's the middle of the day. It's boiling hot, <laughs> and um, I'm in the middle of the of Souk Latarine. Uh, that's what it's called. It's it's very bright. And it's like loads of different stands. We checked out a spice market, and um, there was beautiful bags as well. And yeah, I got this hat. <laughs> Kids stand in the heat, but of course, wearing mango, this really beautiful heart necklace. I'm kind of, I'm kind of giving cowboy today, even though we're not, um, you know, in the states. But it's really nice. There's a lot going on. So many people driving motorcycles everywhere. As you can hear, it's it's really busy. We took a tiny little hallway and a door and now we're in this beautiful Riyadh and I've never seen something live like this before like this is absolutely insane there's like three big interior gardens with huge plants and these little fountains and you can also go up to the rooftop and I would love to show you my outfit because I like it a lot. This is my outfit. I'm wearing a two-piece set with kind of like a zebra pattern. It's really beautiful. Are you sure? She was
Mango Travel Diaries, Marrakesh. Let's go. You know I can do without it. And then our last destination was Paris, and I've been to Paris many times, but this time was different. We also had very good locations. I had some amazing outfits from Mango. I really love them, but I can only show you a little bit yet because the episode is not out yet. It will be soon, so here's Paris, because Paris is always a good idea. What you gonna do? Well, do you wanna go down? Yeah. What you gonna do? Well, do you wanna go down? Huh. What you gonna do? Do you wanna go down? Huh. What you gonna do? Well, do you wanna go down? Huh. What you gonna do? Bonjour, ça va? Ça va? Je m'appelle Mélanie et aujourd'hui, euh, je suis à Paris et nous sommes en shoot de mango. Thank you, Mango, for taking me to these beautiful places. I also, I don't know if some of you might know, but I've hosted a little bit in the past, so it was a lot of fun for me going back into that experience because I haven't done it in quite some time. Also, learning a lot of things on the side for my behind the camera stuff that I do. I liked it a lot, and I also love edit loved editing um, the footage I got and I just wish I had even more time to show you but that's about it I'm also gonna link the videos in the info box there's a lot of work in them so yeah a couple more days here in Portugal this right now is really just holiday I haven't touched my camera in a whole week uh, we didn't I haven't taken any photos so far just some tiny little snippets with a disposable camera just to really calm down and like reconnect with myself because I've been feeling it a little off lately and tomorrow I think we're gonna go to a flea market and a market and Kelfish. Kelfish? It's like a um, like a little village or like city nearby and last year when I went to the flea market I scored some really cool things so crossing fingers that it will happen again and then just a couple more beach days and eating very well and yeah just having some downtime me tira da cama me leva na praia me conta uma história engraçada, me faça sorrir Me faz uma trança, me dê esperança Acorda de vez a criança escondida em mim Quero ser sua garota, dança contigo okay, The flea market was a proper success The other ones are just in the bakery to get some goodies So I found a parking spot and um, I could have gotten even more like there were some really good things and the prices were just um, but I found this really beautiful silver arm cuff for one euro and then I found this um, necklace it looks it's plastic but it looks like it could be like some kind of seashell and yeah I love that we found I found a really beautiful small green scarf which is perfect for a cold summer night I think it's really beautiful I'm gonna show you like a wearing picture later on and then I also found this beautiful crochet top that has like these little hooks to close it up in the front 
I like it a lot. And then I also found another cargo skirt. Success. Now we're gonna have a little breakfast and coffee. Okay. Bye. As a piscina. to the city to have like a date night and dinner and um, the veggie options as usual are pretty limited there's like one specifically veggie restaurant but that's not where we're going today we might go there tomorrow so yeah the city is so beautiful <laughs> cab that I bought a couple weeks ago. Um, new secondhand Ray-Bans. I don't know the model, but I really like how they fit. Jewelry and some little pants and yeah.